In a converted gas station on NASA's Silicon Valley campus, a pair of startups are working together to democratize satellite data. Aquila Space is building a fleet of satellites no bigger than briefcases that can each capture and send back images of more than 12 million square miles of Earth every day. Meanwhile, its partner Astro Digital is developing software tools that allow anyone to process and analyze the data, putting satellite capabilities into the hands of small businesses, developers, and local government agencies. Among many other things, the data could be used to help inform policy and responses for ecological disasters, including the wildfires and droughts currently plaguing California. Astro Digital began really out of the need to make satellite imagery more usable and more accessible. Satellite imagery has typically only been a resource used by governments. It's very expensive, it's difficult to access, you need a lot of expertise to even work with the data. So what we're doing is building a processing pipeline that essentially emulates a lot of those professional workflows and then providing a set of interfaces um, really to anybody who needs it. So you know, we want to enable that guy sitting in instant command to grab the most recent picture of the fire and get that into the hands of the incident commander, to the people doing the planning, to the press, to residents who are being evacuated. They are among a growing number of startups moving into the hardware or software side of the satellite space in recent years, including Mapbox, Planet Labs, and Skybox, which Google acquired last year. These startups can't photograph Earth with as much detail as the larger government and commercial satellites that have dominated the market for decades. But by launching a greater number of tiny satellites, they can offer faster and more frequent updates. Aquila, for instance, plans to launch four satellites next year and another 12 in 2017, creating a so-called constellation that can snap fresh pictures of almost anywhere on Earth each day. This higher so-called temporal resolution can change the game for what satellites can do, offering continually updated imagery of rapidly changing scenes, including areas struck by earthquakes, droughts, floods, and wildfires. We can actually image a massive area with these satellites. We'll be able to capture almost daily coverage of the urban agriculture forested land globally. So with a monitoring constellation, we're always on, we're always taking pictures, the mission of the Land Mapper Constellation isn't to necessarily capture the whole world every day, it's to capture the things that we know are changing. Where do the evacuations need to take place? What roads are at risk of being blocked by the fire? Or where you should be setting up resources to help be finding the fire for the next day? This is a big deal. Today what we're really doing is getting that data about every 16 days. So when we're looking at the wildfire response, or we're looking at drought monitoring, having that increased temporal resolution means that we can actually respond instead of react. 